So our final question this week is from James, who's from the internet. One of the issues making a Metroid has is that has is that it has an ongoing story and timeline and thus specific points they can fill. Really, given the manga is canon, the only place left are post-Federation Force, which would be Metroid Prime 4, and post-Fusion, which would presumably be the 2D game. Fusion leaves us with a clear next step in the outro that Samus is court-martialed, giving two distinct possibilities. One, Samus is a fugitive, or two, Samus is being punished and probably imprisoned. The next logical step of the story is also Samus dealing with the corruption within the Federation that greenlit the research done in Fusion. Essentially, what I'm saying is that the next 2D Metroid will deal heavily with the Federation, thus explaining Federation Force's existence to cement their presence, and probably some form of escape and evasion. Either she's on the run or an escaped prisoner, which actually allows a sense of isolation even on an inhabited planet. As such, it seems pretty clear to me that the next 2D Metroid must have some form of stealth mechanic. Do you think such a thing would be innovative enough to stand out? And moreover, do you think it would be a positive step in the series? I think there are several existing power-ups that could be used for interesting stealth sections. Uh, using bombs as a distraction, the spider ball to avoid lines of sight, or even ZSS's Zero Suit uh, Paralyzer. Zero Good point, Emmys. I should have got that. Zero Suit Samus's Paralyzer possibly retrofitted into a Paralyzer Beam. And of course, the Wave Beam to paralyze guards that can't even see you. But would also open up a number of new power-up options to surprise people. Silent and EMP bombs. Uh, maybe some way of turning off lights. And of course, some sort of chameleon suit upgrade for the end game when you're meant to feel really powerful. I also think it could add... In, in ways to the tension in the exploration, giving very open areas with soft bars in terms of surveillance, but equally, I don't know how well they'd be able to balance it with the fast paced action the series enjoys. What are your thoughts, James, from the internet? Oh boy, a lot of speculation going on here. He, he goes deep uh, in, yeah. into this stuff. This is really, <laughs> he really has like this is thought out. an imagination that can just take a take a theory that that you know a game developer just loves yeah no totally um so one thing i'm going to say up front is the notion that they have to stick to a timeline is just not a thing that nintendo think about um i, I know that there is a timeline for metroid and that it has some kind of uh you know sketch together way it's not it's not as sketch together as zelda is zelda is just kind of like well, we just kind of made this up and we're going on the fly. Like, I think Metroid actually has a more cohesive timeline to it. But, uh, you know, the way Nintendo operate is they go for mechanics first and then they figure out a way to forge in a story. So I, I don't think that there are kind of limited steps that they have to force themselves down in order to create a new game in the Metroid franchise. Uh, that said, I, I think that this is a cool idea. The, the notion of having stealth as a focus in the series... Um, would be interesting. I think, uh, you know, we've talked before in the past how stealth has never been a true focus of any Nintendo games, where they they use it throughout a lot of their franchises. Um, I know, Bally, you weren't a big fan of the kind of uh, Escape Zero Suit Samus segment at the end of Zero Mission. Um, How do you feel about them potentially taking this as a core element in a new 2D Metroid? I like I like the idea. I just think it needs to be done well. Right. I I because I, I'd ha- read a lot of reviewers who liked and praised that that section at the end of Zero Mission, and I just thought it. And I said this at the time when we did our um, our backlog club, but essentially I thought it was more hit and run than stealth. Sure, in the sense that uh, I think there were things about that that could have been better. But do I have like do I have faith in Nintendo or whoever it t- would take the next Metroid project on? in making a better stealth even two-dimensional experience absolutely like i i would always have faith that it, that something like that can be improved and i think the, the the suggestions james has made with all the weapons and paralyzer beams and things like this spider ball to avoid line of sights that, that these are all fantastic ideas and like the the metro universe is very impressive in taking you know like an alien like uh world and running up going crazy with all these crazy weapons that do all these different things and that's where merging the that craziness with a stealth game would be really great because so far we've seen like we've done a lot of isolation so it, it, 2d and 3d there's a lot of isolation a lot of exploring a lot of puzzle solving but at the same time there's sort of a lot of big bosses they're a huge part of metroid but a more more of an emphasis 
on isolation in relation to stealth is is interesting and i like the idea that james had where you can feel very isolated in a busy city when the idea is to stay hidden from those people mm. or all that population like that that's an interesting idea that you could really do a lot of interesting story stuff with uh to do with metroid yeah for sure i it's one of those things where you have these elements in other metroid games like so this kind of survival horror element from fusion where the sax is tracking you and you have to either run from it or hide from it in certain scenarios and that stuff is terrifying because the sax is just a monster that will annihilate you in like two hits if you let it um and then obviously the stealth sections in zero mission and um i don't think the prime games really get to that sort of stuff because in a 3d game it's much harder to um you know conjure those those sort of feelings i think now, there are a lot of 3d stealth games out there and i've never really been one to be interested in those because for me i think there are some that do it well like metal gear solid 5 does it incredibly well because it gives you all this information you need and it allows you to do your job of stealth uh without intervening and without kind of doing a fuck you and kind of you know getting you um in a cheap way i think and that's, that's one of the things i don't like about some stealth games they don't really uh display the information allow you to get through things um through your own skill it just kind of fucks you up sometimes but that said like if you take those elements and boil them down into a more of a focus on that as a main part of the game uh it could be very interesting and i always talk about and i always try to evangelize this game wherever i can mark of the ninja amazing 2d stealth game and one of the things that i love about it is that it very clearly indicates to you here are where the people are here are their lines of sight here's where you're going to be completely hidden here's a place where you're maybe in danger you have a lot of tools in your arsenal and the one thing about that game is it's a level-based game right so you're going uh you know through these multiple areas and you're uh, figuring out the way to get past everyone i would love to see that kind of design approached with a metroid like map uh implemented because along the way you know you get your upgrades and you become stronger and maybe the whole idea of it is the inverse of zero mission where in that game like you you build up uh you get more powerful and then they depower you whereas in this one you start very depowered and you know i think i don't know how many stealth games there are where you have that progression from stealth to full action where you can kind of go out there and be crazy without dying uh, super easily but there's a potential for that uh, and it kind of fits into the metroid idea of samus gets stronger throughout the game i don't know it's um exactly. it's possible but uh i i'd also like to see maybe if they just kept the stealth going the whole time and 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 you know leverage more challenging situations with more enemies and and that kind of stuff but um i you know i'm i'm someone who has been hankering for a new 2d metroid for so many years you know <laughs> and uh anything they give me honestly i'll take so um if they if they try to innovate a little bit and and maybe um you know take this idea on board then i'm all for it um because it's hard i think I, I think nintendo have this problem of what do we do with the next metroid and this is a potential way to address that um so yeah i hope we'll, we'll I, get I guess we'll find out at e3 yeah exactly <laughs> absolutely it's guaranteed Fing- ballot. fingers crossed guaranteed it has to be there <laughs> it's metroid it's guaranteed oh boy how could you possibly doubt it yeah uh so yeah is, uh, that wrap us up for the email segment then i guess Bally. i think so yeah that 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 uh, it's just it's always depressing talking about me- 2d metroid isn't it it kind of leaves you on the down it's when never think, depressing Bally. Oh, yeah. it just makes me happy they've not done that in a while met 2d they? metroid yeah, yeah. i love yeah. talking about it but then the realization hits and <laughs> then it sets it yeah oh god uh, then it, it's a low low yeah it's a low 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 if you enjoyed this discussion and would like to hear more consider subscribing to us on youtube and following the podcast playlist you can also find us on iTunes and various other places. Follow us on Twitter at TNL Podcast and email us thisnintendolife at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.